viewers, welcome, bienvenido, croissui, salam, welcome to the channel, y'all, chashniak, shimash. Yes, it is actually me, and I have finally managed to get myself into the workshop after a number of months. Um, so I'd like to thank you guys for all the support that you've given me over the past few months, which have been really, really hard. And the next few months which again going to be very very hard but i have got the mojo for today and i'm going to do something um a repair for a friend of mine so first of all everything in here is like a tip because it's this whole bench has just been a dumping ground for the past three months so the first thing i have to do is to clear everything up so before i can do that i need to click my magic fingers and there we go everything is now being cleaned up and tidied and ready for the video so what have i got for you guys today my friend gave me this lovely bag and we have a dyson outsize it's the first time i've ever had one of these on the channel um so we've got that we've got a spare part we've got an instruction booklet and we have this very dirty, dirty, dirty little vacuum here. Uh, this is the Dyson... What is it? What the f*** are you? Anyway, we have this other little Dyson. There's no wording on it, what it is at all, apart from SV06. Um, but I think I remember him saying that there was a battery issue with this. So I'm going to leave this to one side and we're going to deal with it today this outsize so let me get you a bit closer and we'll take a look so in comparison i've brought in my dyson v10 which um has also died by the way i have no idea what's happened to it it has just stopped working but that's for another video so you can see the sizes of the machine um this definitely is weightier so for a handheld thing it's it's quite chunky so if i was to compare it to where are you so if i was to compare it to the bin of the dyson dc07 there's really not much of a difference it's sort of like uh small mid large and a little bit larger so the bin on this so if i was to hold this as a as a handheld that's what it feels like i'm holding it feels like i'm holding a dc07 um bin compartment so it is quite heavy but i do like the bigger bin on it because it works better for the cyclone uh, some of the other dysons i found with the really really shallow bins doesn't seem to have much room for a cyclone to work on it more effectively whereas this I feel really does it's a nice big bin but it is heavy so actually having it as a handheld um it's 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 very heavy all right so if you have issues with uh, I don't know how much it is I don't know how much it weighs but it's bloody heavy this thing is bad enough but this thing is heavy but it's a it's it's a lovely looking machine like I said it's it's lovely and chunky and substantial and I really like that the things on it are identical which is really good uh, for charging it up oh, that does that does look ah now this is the one where the battery comes out so this is brilliant that you can just swap the battery around on it and you can charge it there but i think i don't believe it would fit on the same oh i don't know no it is slightly big i don't think it would fit on the same one as mine but it does look very similar but i don't think it would fit i'll have to try right so what am i doing today with this so this belongs to my mate like i said and he's had it for a little while and he absolutely loves it for he's got a, a large house with a lot of hard floors at the bottom um and he uses that for this every day it is like his pull out machine for the whip arounds and he also uses it upstairs as well i believe um but yes yeah, so the issue we have with it is he took the bin off 
to clean it and then wedged it didn't put this back into the ridge properly and it is now completely stuck so he can't open it or anything it is completely and utterly wedged so it's not it's not even now that looks like there's a bit broken off there There's a little clip underneath there, and that has broken off. So it does stay on, but it's not. It does pull tight with the um, once it's once the suction's on. See, so it's not going to leak any seals. It's just holding it on, but it is it is actually broken off. So what he has done is bought. A brand new one of these. Mm -mm, look how nice and clean that looks. It's not going to look like that for long. So it's going to be fixed because he's got a new clip on the top. So if I open this up. And I open that. See, so there's a new clip that will stay closed. Voila, lovely. Now, the issue I'm having is how on earth am I going to get this shroud off because it is stuck and I do not want to break. <sighs> ah! Jeepers, creepers. Right, okay, so we've got it off. Now, first thing I have to do is take the filter off so I don't accidentally turn it on. Let's give this a clean. Let's put this on without damaging it. <laughs> there we go. How was that? Now it will loosen up with use. Now I'm going to give it a little bit of polish. A little bit of demon shine, it's not gonna hurt. The filter on it is all clean, so that's fine. I can go back on. Again, I'm just going to Give that a polish with the screen. Ooh, it's alive. Okay, so there we go. That is his um, V, whatever it is, um, out size. Eco, medium, boost, medium, eco. Done and dusted. Right, let's give it a quick demo just to make sure that there's no leaks on it. Let me get my bits. Yeah, so as I thought, it doesn't fit on the um, stand for my V10. 
it did seem wider. I'm going to be using this. My amazing fluffy head tool with the laser that was given to me by my wonderful friend, Nick. And the V10 fits on that. So if I put it down, my laser is on. And I get 87 minutes using it on that. Medium or boost. I like, I like medium. I think medium will be fine. Give me 42 minutes. Anyway, let's give it a quick go. So what I'm going to be demonstrating today, just a quick little demo. Got some gay wedding here. We're going to the chapel and we're going to get married. Ha ha, demo, going to the chapel. Making a big mess. Right. You can't really see it there, can you? Hang on a second, let me okay, try. Okay, you can see there a little bit better. Let's give it a go. Let's get the laser on it. You could use it on the eco. But I do prefer using it on the medium one. And I don't know if you can see in the picture, but all the little bits of glitter. All dancing around. If I put it on high, boost. Mega dancing glitter. Medium. Eco. Meh. We're going to have to have it on at least medium. Get your ball glazers out, everybody. Get searching. So I got you positioned underneath the sofa, and then you can see the laser at work. Right, that's enough of the ball queen. Let's get you back into the workshop. Okay, so I need to give this a clean up now so I can give this back to my friend. All done and fixed. Next, he gave me this old V, whatever it is. Let's clean it up.
and clicky plastic. Okay, so that's the battery. Let's give the inside of that another rack. I'm gonna take the dustbin, give that a wipe over. I'm gonna have a look online in a minute. Have a look for some replacement batteries for it. No, I don't have a spare battery to test for this. <clears throat> I thought I did, but I don't, unfortunately. Right. So what I wanna do is keep the two screws. And I'm gonna stick them. to the vacuum. So they don't get lost. Give the vacuum back to him. It's, um, these batteries don't aren't very good. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna, let's have a look online first of all, hang on. Okay, so there are loads of these batteries um, available on um, Amazon and stuff. So I've recommended one. The reviews on them are very mixed. Some people say that they don't last very long. Others say they didn't work, blah, blah, blah. But with, well, what I can say is that with, with Amazon, if it does, um, if they are faulty then obviously you can send it back and get your money back in the UK you can anyway at least so I've sent him the link to the one that I've seen it's £22.99 uh, it's made by a company a Sun Cell so they all seem to be pretty much the same to be honest so that's the best I can do for him is to um, send him the link to get a new battery for it and if the battery works then fair enough and if it doesn't then well either fork out for a new one or chuck it i mean yeah to be honest let's finish up so there we go i had two dysons in today i had this v6 and i had the v15 outsize i really do like this machine i'm not going to be going into it in any details whatsoever but um it is a big bugger i will give it that it is a big heavy machine if you're coming from something like this even with this battery put in there is such a weight difference so be prepared for that if you are going to i'll just leave that in there we go uh if you are going to go for an outsize i really do like it i uh, this would be the one that i would get next would be the outsize version of it um, but I know its limitations as in with, with the weight and trying to use it as a handheld with the attachment tools, it's going to be a pain, but still I do like the bigger capacity on it. I do feel that that is, uh, an improvement. So I don't know what's happening with my V10. I will have to have a look at that and see what's going on. The battery seems to be fully charged. It doesn't come on for filters or blockages. I have absolutely no idea what's happened to it. So, hmm let's see for another video so thank you very much for watching me thank you very much for all your patience your amazing kind words so thank you very much for watching guys i hope you've enjoyed the little video for you and i will see you in the next episode bye now